almost said good morning. I am so used to coming on here um, in the morning. Um, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like close to one o'clock my time. Um, I just wanted to come on here and say I felt um, the absolute love of the Father just like bursting, um, like coming through the Spirit this morning. And um, the really interesting thing is that the fire, then the fire of God, when I went into the prison this morning, the absolute fire of the Holy Spirit has been on the back of my neck this morning. And there is a fine line between uh, this this love um, and this passion, this uh, this passion of our um, our Lord. And I just I discern um, this uh, passion and jealousy of our Father this morning. Um, I met some really beautiful women this morning. I had the privilege of taking care of them and doing some ultrasounds this morning. And there was, there were many, but one of them in particular, the Lord just revealed his heart um, for her and just the suffering that she has gone through. And, um, I just wanted to share that with you. Somebody else may need to hear this. What you are going through, some people think that is that it is their fault, even sickness in your body, that it is your fault, that somehow um, you brought this upon yourself. And I just wanna tell you that Jesus came that we may have life and life in abundance. He does not put sickness into our bodies. Jesus Christ died on the cross to bear our, our um, sufferings and griefs and sorrows. And um, by his stripes, we are healed. He took it all for us. So I knew that the Lord um, was, was telling me to let her know this is not your fault. This poor woman um, has been th through so much in her body and I discerned so much in her life. So I was ministering to her and I just felt the jealousness, like the absolute passionate jealousness of our Father for her. And I discern that over all of all of you, all of us, all of his sons and daughters. We are all his children. We are all his possession. Um, he loves us all. He wants us all protected. He wants us all in divine health. He wants us all to be receiving the fullness of his blessings. So I'm coming on here to share that, this passion and jealousy of our Heavenly Father for you. He loves you. You are so loved, um, even through this fiery, like, passion, passionate jealousy. I just discerned the absolute tenderness of the Lord um, for his daughter and for you, whether you're a son or daughter. And I just, I come against uh, every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of sickness, every spirit of death, these demonic spirits that are bringing in um, stagnation, blood clots, pain, um, blood clotting disorders, um, heart disease, generational curses of heart disease and blood disorders. I bind and break your powers in the name of Jesus Christ. Every generational curse, every bloodline curse, every word curse, every ancestral curse operating in your life, I bind and break the powers right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And this fear, this fear that you may have that I saw this morning, I bind and break your powers in the name of Jesus Christ, for he has not given us a spirit of fear, but one of power, 
one of power, one of love, one of sound mind. I speak sound minds over you. I, I, I have come up against autism, autism. I bind and break that demonic spirit right now. You have a sound mind. I was told by somebody that, that, that they believe that um, this was put in them so that they can minister to other autistic people. Now that may be true. God is going to work this for his good, work the things that have been brought into your life by the hand of the enemy for his good. No, he does not give you a disordered or fractured mind in any way. So I bind and break that spirit. I, I pull down that lie in the name of Jesus Christ. I have also seen children in the spirit with cleft palates, cleft lips. These children, these children, the one I'm seeing is in Vietnam, but I also know Vietnam, India, Thailand, these children are in these countries, these impoverished, impoverished countries. And there is a mocking spirit. So first, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I command these cleft lips, these cleft palates, be restored, be healed in the name of Jesus. I see the hand of the Lord re-knitting these structures and these, these different tissue layers and the bone. Um, Re, re knitting them, restoring them in Jesus' name. You were healed. You are healed right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, just have your way. Bring these creative miracles right now in Jesus' name. Heal these cleft lips and palates in the name of Jesus. You have not been able to get proper nourishment because of this. So I lose the blessings of the Lord. I lose his, his hand, his spiritual food. And, and I ask for supernatural provision of food to you, all you beautiful children in, in Thailand, Vietnam, and India. The Lord is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. So now the Holy Spirit has been telling me these mocking spirits have been coming against these beautiful sons and daughters of the Lord. You are made in his image. You are made in his image. Yes, I'm here to remind you, you are beautiful and made in the image of God. So I bind and break the powers of these mocking spirits right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, be restored. Be restored in the name of Jesus. This morning when I was in that room, I smelled my, my father in the natural. My father... Um, I have to be honest, I don't know if my, my father is, is still alive. I don't have a relationship with him. Although I want one, Dad, if you ever hear this, I love you. I love you. I think about you every day. My father smokes a pipe and and I was around that my most of my life and I just sw I smelled the sweet smell um, and fragrance of a pipe, pipe tobacco. And I just discern that some people may have, may not have a relationship with their families in the natural realm, but there are some being watched right now by your family because they love you. They love you. And I just pray reconciliation in the name of Jesus Christ, that people would be reconciled back to their families, that you as living epistles shining like that light on the hill shining um the light of jesus you're an example you're this walking living epistle is drawing them to you so i speak reconciliation in the name of jesus you keep praying you keep praying and i discern i i discern 
Um, again, our Heavenly Father is just around you. His fragrance is, is around us as His sons and daughters. His eyes are always upon us. He is with us. He is with us. I just keep hearing the jealousy and passion of the Lord. This is the, the love of our Father. He loves us so much. He loves us and he, he wants us to stay in his, you know, protection and provision and love. And um, he doesn't want to see us hurting or in pain or broken in any way. And Jesus died so that we can be reconciled back to the Father and have this abundant life. So I'm here to confirm that for all of you. Hallelujah. The eyes of the Lord are upon you, of your heavenly Father is upon you. There has been so much witchcraft. And I am just speaking over all of you right now. Everybody under the sound of my voice. You are my friends, all of my family, all of my spiritual family. Hallelujah. I say, I just bind and break the powers of this witchcraft right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord rebukes you. You cannot touch us. We rest under the shadow of El Shaddai. In the name of Jesus, loose us, loose us, loose my family in the name of Jesus Christ. So I just, I just, the fire of the Lord, the passionate love and fire of the Lord is here. And I pray that he touches you today in the name of Jesus. So I am off. Um, it was a it was a wild morning. I think I've seen uh, uh, enough patience to um, for a full day's work, but here we're only halfway through. But I'm stoked. That's okay. Our day's halfway through. Um, I just wanted to share this with you. I love you all. Have a blessed rest of your day in the name of Jesus.